Township boy. Eastley have the kickoff. They're kicking towards the East Bank end in the first half, and quite quickly, uh, Broadbent sends it down the middle. The knockdown's picked up by the number 12 Hesketh, and now he spreads it across the edge of the area. Smart tries a ball into the box. That doesn't come off from Saunders. Sorry, listeners, and uh, it was headed behind by East. We've got a corner now. Six and a half minutes in at the High Street end. Kinsella's going to take it. Left-footed in swinger to the near post. And I'm not sure who got the contact on that, but it's gone behind the goal again. All the shot have appealed for a corner. Can I update our radio listeners. Kinsella's going to shoot from distance, doesn't get hold of it at all. It's eight and a half minutes gone, Joe. We've Clear just seen cutting the... edge yet, and we're 20 minutes into a game. Um, it's a very cagey game. Neither team wanting to lose this one. This is what it looks like so far, if I'm being 100% honest, Rob. Taken short by Kinsella to Willard, who's going to cut in and try a little shot here with his right foot. He overruns it and then almost gives away a free kick. Easily clear. I think it... But you do feel if, if they're to get that moment, that, that point or the goal, the point, the win, they're going to have to score first. I really do feel that, do you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I when th they can I see think, the game. I game's think both done. teams yeah. will be thinking that, Bob. I yeah. think both teams will think that. Hesketh with a free kick. I think Ross should come and get that. He, he's bundled to the ground. It's turned towards the goal. It can't be given. Oh, it wow. surely can't be given. It has been given. Ross was taken out. Oh, I can see why the ref's given it. It's because he's collided with Loco. There's no foul there at all from Eastley and Eastley on planet earth would have done not asking any questions stroking it into the empty net um, did cross my mind for a little while there's a flick on Barnett's got a chance there's the area and he lobs it over Walker it's goal 2-0 to Eastley nothing wrong with that goal other than the order shot defence being like statues and Mitch Walker who's come on in the 23rd minute Hasn't even had a chance to make a save yet. He's picking the ball out the back of his net. 30 minutes gone. Shots nil easily to the Silver Lake. Earlier on in the season in the 3-0 win. They're 2-0 down shots. Here's Kinsella. Strikes it. Tipped over the bar. Good save from McDonnell. Very, very good strike from Kinsella, who almost got his fourth goal of the season. Feeling mightily relieved this afternoon. Potentially going nine points clear of all the shot. In comes the ball, punched away by Walker. Only as far as Smart. Smart sends it in again. Walker jumps unopposed and catches it. Uh, it's Chesterfield one, Grimsby four. And what's happened here now? I think, if I'm being honest, Walker with you, Rob, is running to. Yeah, into yeah he, so the, the cross came in from Smart. As you said, unopposed. Walker catches the ball, two hands. He tries to get the play quick. He runs to the edge of this box, goes to release it. And uh, I'm not sure that it wasn't Barnett. Did he collide? Did yeah, he collide that's what he's done. Match ended. Dover 1, Kings Lynn 1. That means that Kings Lynn have closed the gap on all the shot to six points as things stand. Shots 2 0 down. Here's Willard. Oh, he thumps in his shot and it's just got a bit of swerve on it the wrong way. Okay. Corner to all the shot. Willard takes right footed he hits a huge one but Corey sends it back across goal and it's caught underneath his bar in fact touched over his bar by Joe McDonnell clips the ball out to the left to Willard who takes it brilliantly first time in his stride he can go one on one against Smart but he'll have Camp ahead of him uh, he's not got a lot of support otherwise here comes Kinsella now with an overlapping run and Willard's still got it Jinx inside to the penalty area pulls it back and somehow Eastley managed to smother it behind. I think Tommy Willard's Broadbent probably goes to McDonnell, who kicks long up towards halfway, where Jordan will jump, and the referee blows his final whistle. And you can... Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.